Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After Jerry Brown disobeys Trump's direct order, Donald swings the hammer hard. Jerry Brown has made many questionable decisions during his time as governor in California. His state is often criticized for some of the things they do such as attempting to ban plastic straws and reducing the criminality of purposely giving someone HIV. With people like Maxine Waters working in the 43rd district and parts of California being smeared in feces and needles, it's no wonder the massive West Coast state is the center of yet another controversy. President Donald Trump and the U.S. Treasury Department are putting the foot down on California. No more cutting corners or finding loopholes for them. It appears that California was trying to avoid the new $10,000 limit on state and local tax deductions. They were attempting this by claiming taxes are charitable donations. Not so fast, said the government. Trump originally promised that the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act would have a tax reform package that cut some of the tax burdens for the average family of four who earned $75,000, cutting the burden of taxes by a reported $2,000. It also was supposed to increase the household income by about $4,000 through various cuts on business. The business corporate tax rate was 35 percent, but then slashed down to 21 percent, allowing companies to invest more income on their product and employees. Breitbart reported further, stating, To fund part of the resulting revenue loss, the Republican-controlled U.S. House of Representatives limited federal deductions for state and local taxes SALT, to $10,000 for the first time. The move hammered high-income taxpayers in Democrat-dominated high-tax blue states like California, Illinois, New York, and New Jersey. According to the Tax Policy Institute, the first-time ever cap on SALT deductions was expected to generate $36.1 billion more in federal tax collections in 2018. But the pain to high-income taxpayers in California and the other so-called deep blue states doubles to $74.5 billion in 2021 and almost triples to $100.4 billion by 2025. Four days after Trump's tax reform took effect on January 1, then-State Senate leader Kevin DeLeon, D. Los Angeles, proposed SB 227 Education Finance. Local schools and colleges voluntary contribution fund to allow any Californian that had more than $10,000 in state and local tax deductions to make a dollar for dollar charitable donation to the California Excellence Fund for a dollar for dollar state tax credit to avoid the salt limits. De Leon, who is running for U.S. Senate, tried to justify draining federal taxes to the San Jose Mercury News. The Republican tax plan gives corporations and hedge fund managers a trillion dollar tax cut and expects California taxpayers to foot the bill. He added, we won't allow California residents to be the casualty of this disastrous tax scheme. Although federal law allows charitable deductions for overpayment of taxes to those each year that want to donate to help pay down public debt or maintain a park under IRC Section 170, the contributions must be solely for public purposes. But Treasury Secretary Stephen T. Mnuchin released a statement on August 23 indicating that California's charity was a scheme to avoid paying federal taxes. Congress limited the deduction for state and local taxes that predominantly benefited high-income earners to help pay for major tax cuts for American families. He added, the proposed rule will uphold that limitation by preventing attempts to convert tax payments into charitable contributions. The new U.S. Treasury proposed rule, according to The Hill, would only allow taxpayers to claim the federal charitable deduction under quid pro quo guidelines for the amount of donations that exceeds the amount they received in tax credits. As an example, if the taxpayer donated $1,000 to the California SB 227 state charity and received a 50 percent state tax credit, the taxpayer would only be able to claim a federal charitable deduction of $500, according to the Treasury Secretary. Mnuchin emphasized that the Treasury Department has projected that 90 percent of U.S. taxpayers that do not file tax returns with standard deductions will not be impacted by the SALT limits. The 5 percent of U.S. taxpayers who file itemized returns with income tax deductions above the $10,000 will be unable to exploit the charitable deduction to avoid the SALT cap. If people want to keep talking about the taxes, then let them. As long as people play by the rules and businesses invest in their employees, then the working Americans will benefit. If Trump cuts the tax rates from 35 percent to 21 percent, then that's amazing and gives businesses 14 percent of their income back to their company. That was money that was taken by the government, proving that taxation is indeed theft. There's no reason why a large business should ever pay more than a third in taxes. In fact, no one should. If you live in a Democrat-controlled city, then what are your taxes like? 
Does your mayor tax you like crazy? Mine does. Philadelphia's Mayor Kenny seems like he taxes his own taxes sometimes. We have a sugary drink tax in Philadelphia that has put people nearly out of business, hurting the small business owners who run corner stores in the city. We can't complain the taxation is theft and then not be happy with a 35% to 21% tax break. Anyone who isn't happy with that might need to rethink their train of thought. Getting back 14% more of your income means you can spend less time finding loopholes and more time improving your business. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.